Introduction Disaster Recovery Procedure is aims to help an organization to resolve data loss and recover system functionality so that it can still perform even after the tragedy happened. These includes the step-by-step -step plan and also the precautions that need to be taken to minimize the effects of disaster to ensure the continuity of the business in that organization. There are several important goals of disaster recovery. Eliminate interruption to some normal operation. Limit the scale of disruption and damage. Minimize interruption of economic effect. Establish alternative means of operation in advance. Train personnel with emergency procedures. Provide smooth and rapid service restoration. Objective of DRP are provide a sense of security, minimize decision making during disaster, minimizing risk of delays, guaranteeing the reliability of standby system, and provide a standard for testing the plan. There are two important topic in DRP. Number one is risk management. In risk management the coordinator should consider and identify the threats, vulnerabilities, critical business processes and components of the business, risk are the things that would likely a problem or threat could occur causing an effect to the organization, it also related to recovery because both of this aspect are used to prevent risk. There are four crucial things that are essential to risk management. First identify business processes and their associated IT infrastructure resource requirements. Second prioritize business processes according to time sensitivity and criticality. Third identify existing threats to business process and fourth define objective for strategies to reduce the impact of risks that cannot be eliminated. The second important topic is disaster recovery planning. In disaster recovery planning the planner should characterize the system requirements, processes and interdependencies. Two major aspect involved in disaster recovery planning is the business impact analysis and recovery plan. In business impact analysis focuses on the impact that will cause to an organization if a problem occurs, determining the impact a process that has a outage time and assign which steps and plan will be implemented first, second etc. In recovery plan, plan must be decided by the coordinator, the components include backup method, alternative sites, equipment replacement, support teams, policy statement, testing, training, and continuity. The improvement of the plans depends on the capacity and scope of an organization and criticality of its IT operation and infrastructure. Process of DRP First process is performing a risk assessment. The planning team of the organization need to prepare a risk analysis and a business impact analysis that includes a range of possible disasters that can happen to well-known the precaution steps. The second step are establishing priorities for processing and operations. Written information reports of requirements are prepared with specifics detailing of the how long the duration of period for each specific disaster. There are three level of criticality that need to be prioritized which is, high criticality, business process must be covered within 24 hours, medium criticality, business process must be recovered within 48 hours, low criticality, can wait for many days or even weeks for recovery. Third step is collecting all data includes various lists such as employee backup position listing, critical number phones list, each vendor list notification checklist. For inventories, something like office equipment, any documentation, communication equipment, insurance policies, work group and data center computer hardware, software and other else. Fourth step is all the information gained need to be documented as a reference and instructions on how to overcome the problems in critical time. It needs to be well organized. This step is the implementation of the plan in real situations. It means, all the equipment or any hardware or software need to go through the backup process just to make sure that all the data information been secured. The criteria need to be fulfilled to make sure all the recovery plan is working successfully. The criteria are Determining the feasibility and compatibility of backup facilities and procedures. Providing training to the team managers and team members. Identifying areas in the plan that need modification. Testing the plan. An actual test run must need to be performed to see how the real situations might affect the running process. Initial testing is done after normal business hours to minimize disruptions. Subsequent tests occur during normal business hours. This step is to check whether the plan is working or not. There are four subscription service alternatives. Hot site. Warm site. Cold site. And mobile site. 
A hot site is a commercial disaster recovery service that allows a business to continue computer and network operations in the event of a computer or equipment disaster. For example, if an enterprise's data center becomes inoperable, that enterprise can move all data processing operations to a hot site. A warm site is not as equipped as a hot site. Warm site is configured with power, phone, network, and other else, may have servers and other resources, but a warm site is not ready for immediate switchover, the time to switch over from the disaster affected site to warm site is more than that of a hot site. Cold site contain even fewer facilities than a warm site, it will take more time than a warm site or hot site to switch operation but it is the cheapest option, cold site may contain basic technical facilities but will require days or even weeks to set up properly and start operation from cold site. A mobile site is fully, or partially configured trailer comes to your site. It also stand alone units on mobile trailers. Mobile sites consist of wheeled data centers, towable trailers that hold computer racks. Mobile site can be delivered to its desired location and how fast backups are restored. For the conclusion, a planner should choose an alternative site that best suits the company's need and budgets, other than that. It also need to determine the level of the company service whether it is critical service or not then the company may need to use the hot site because it is ready to operates within an hours only.